Ruski's from Canada, she's from Haiti, and for the past six years, they've been sailing the open seas and sharing their remarkable journey with their over 300,000 subscribers. Today, I'm chatting with the couple behind the popular YouTube channel, Sailing Uma. About 40 dolphins swimming in front of the boat right now. We officially made it across the Arctic Circle. Best part is that we get to literally park our entire home directly behind the Statue of Liberty, and we can enjoy this million dollar view for free. Dan and Kika, thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today. Where are you guys currently? We are right now in Norway, about 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle actually, in a little town called Tromsø. I'm so envious of this whole lifestyle. So take me back to the beginning. When and why did you decide to consider life on the open seas? I think ever since we met, uh, in college, we always knew that we wanted to travel and um, we wanted to sort of live sustainably and, and travel indefinitely. And so for us, a sailboat just kind of ended up being the perfect fit for that. I imagine though, getting started, there had to be some challenges. So what was that like? I think for us, the biggest challenge was sort of um, butting heads with the sort of s traditional sailing world because uh, from the very beginning, we knew nothing about sailboats. And so we were just gonna sort of figure it out as we went along and kind of do it our way. Like sort of when we learned things and, and came up with ideas, we were just gonna sort of go for it. And because the industry is very traditional and a lot of sailors are very traditional, we got a lot of um, resistance when we tried doing things like tearing out our diesel motor and converting our boat to be all electric. I think we've learned the words, it's impossible so many times. Yeah that eventually we start to turn that into motivation for us to just prove that it is actually possible <laughs> that you can sail around the world on an electric boat. Yeah. And we start to turn all these negative opinions to fuel to just keep going. So at what point did you decide to document this whole journey and put it on YouTube? Probably from the very beginning. There was this information that we needed that we couldn't find. Mm -hmm. And so we decided from the very beginning to start documenting our journey from the, you know, from the time that we're leaving the apartment to moving onto the sailboat and try to fill that gap the best we can so that maybe someday what we've learned and the experience that we go to can help another person to take you know, their step and to learn what we were trying to learn in the beginning. Now, not every couple can live together in small spaces, let alone on a sailboat <laughs> for over six years. What is your secret and how do you make it work? Uh, a sailboat is a pressure cooker for relationship. Yeah. It either makes a, the greatest relationship or it can break a weak relationship because yeah. you have to work on your communication. If you can't talk to each other, and a direct way, then it will never work. There's no point getting mad at each other. There's no point getting in fights because there's there's nothing to do. It's like you just have to resolve it right then and there mm -hmm. because you know eventually we're both gonna want dinner and eat food and we both need to go to bed and there's nowhere else to go. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> there's can't no just couch to sleep on. You know? <laughs> there's no escape. But, so the key to a successful yeah. relationship is living on a sailboat. No escape. Got it. So, so yeah. far you've traveled to 22 countries and have sailed over 18,000 nautical miles. How long do you plan to continue living and traveling on the sailboat? We don't really plan uh, for an end. We don't see it ending. It's not like there's a set amount of time. I think mostly we'll just continue as long as we're having fun doing it. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, we didn't see our journey as we're sailing around the world or we're crossing an ocean. Mm -hmm. We really saw it as, well, let's make it to the next horizon, which is just a few miles away. And if we can make it there, we'll make the next step to go to the next horizon. Mm -hmm. And then the freedom that we can pick up our anchor mm -hmm. and go literally anywhere we want mm -hmm. is is the joy of this lifestyle like we i mean we keep saying this but we have the freedom to live sustainably and travel mm -hmm. indefinitely and that's the best freedom we can ask for